Hey guys, Nimrod here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, I have some news or rumors in relation to Rockstar Games and their parent company, Take Two Interactive. Now, this is just going to be a video where we kind of toss ideas around and see what we can come up with. But this all stems from a tweet I saw by Swetka, and it says Take Two is reportedly pressuring Rockstar Games to return to their more frequent game release schedule. And he weighs in with his opinion saying, although this probably would be bad for bigger franchises like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead, it could incentivize them to continue focusing on smaller titles like Bully and Manhunt. Now, I wanna start off by saying, I personally am a huge fan of Bully and Manhunt specifically. We were supposed to get Agent, which was a smaller title that ended up getting pushed aside in favor for Red Dead 2. Rumor has it that Bully 2 is supposed to be the next game on the release schedule for Rockstar Games, but there is a very popular image out there that shows from 1997 until 2019 the release schedule that has happened with Rockstar Games. So I want to go ahead and put that up on screen right now. And you can see towards the beginning around 1998 onward the game releases were insane you had multiple rockstar games coming out in a year and i want to bring attention to the place on this timeline where rockstar discovered microtransactions now i'll go ahead and give you about 10 seconds to uh decide where you think that was right here and the second you can see is it was man right after 2013 right when grand theft auto 5 came out and they started popularizing grand theft auto online and microtransactions shark cards and all that you can see we did not get another rockstar title until 2018 when we got red dead redemption 2 and i personally am behind this idea i would absolutely love for rockstar games to resume a more natural multi games a year i would be fine with a game every two years but this gap between 2014 and 2018 was just way too much for me and it would definitely hurt the bigger franchises because they wouldn't have enough time and the manpower to focus on these larger titles because if you don't have anybody work on anything from before you release Grand Theft Auto 5 until you release Red Dead 2, all of the divisions of Rockstar Games are working on the same thing. That adds quality to the title, even with delays. You know, a lot of people complain about delays, but I find them to be productive because you know they're delaying it for a reason. I am one of the owners of a uh, roleplay server that we just started. You'll see that coming up on the channel a lot more. And it got delayed three or four times just because it wasn't ready. And I understand a server is completely different from like an entire game, but it put me in that mindset where it's just not ready. So a delay is proper. I went a little off topic there, but I would be behind this idea. I would love a bully too. We've had rumors of bully two forever. People thought Manhunt was coming. Manhunt is a extremely controversial game, and I would love a Manhunt 3. I would prefer a Bully 2 over a Manhunt, but I truly would love to see this sort of release schedule take place and get this timeline looking less blank. I'm not a fan of the 2014 to 2017 gap we have there. We had several games they were loaded with rockstar games and then i get it grand theft auto 5 is the biggest release of all time absolutely gta 6 is the most anticipated game release of all time i understand that but i would love to see rockstar kind of take favor to the other titles that are great in la noir 2 people were talking about uh there was a uh uh, let me look at this more midnight clubs people would love to see a return of midnight club max Payne. Um, i'm looking at tweets here and somebody had said picture this 2018 red dead redemption 2 2020 bully 2 2021 max Payne 4 2022 gta 6 
2023 table tennis 2 much better than grand total 5 coming out in 2013 and then we don't see anything until 2018 with red dead redemption 2 now this is a like i said towards the beginning a different type of video than usual usually i have um evidence and what is going to happen but this is more like i said just me throwing around ideas and i'd love to see what you guys think uh would you like to see rockstar stay the way they are and focus on just the major titles or would you like to see grand theft auto and red dead type of releases where we don't see anything from rockstar for several years but when the game does come out it slaps us right in the face and we weren't ready for it so i'm just interested to see what your guys's thoughts are on this but um let me know down in the comment section below but that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found this video full of information and be sure to support the video with a like as well as subscribe if you're in for more videos on rockstar games Thank you.